Log Talk Radio. Hello, you are listening to Create to Learn. These views on this program are not necessarily the views of the board members. To learn more about this program, visit www.createtolearn.org. My name is Stephanie Alfonso, and I am a student at Cal State Fullerton studying cinema and television arts. This educational content is designed to bring valuable education to the community. Today, we will be discussing an academic program Create to Learn is offering students. Students will be creating information about businesses. Businesses can then share this information with the community. Thank you, Anne, for allowing the students to get this opportunity to work for this program. Thank you, Stephanie. I've really enjoyed working with you and the students that we've worked with for the past year, and um, thank you so much. Okay, let's get started. So, um, first of all, can you share with the listeners information on the history of create to learn Well, I went to a dear friend of mine, oh gosh, I guess maybe four years ago, and I told her that I've always wanted to, I'm huge on education, and so we started this program. She has been into education herself for 62 years. She started teaching 62 years ago in New Jersey, and she still works full-time, and we put together this program. She takes care of the smart stuff, and I take care of the creative stuff. So um, <laughs> our goal is to bring, you know, bring some educational content to the community. What was the reason you became involved with this organization? Well, I started doing radio interviews at UC Irvine about maybe 10 years ago, and I've heard over and over and over for so many of the nonprofits that I've had the privilege to interview, um, not just here in Orange County. I've done a couple out of the country even, and so I interviewed um, nonprofits, and I learned that one thing that the common thread that so many nonprofits need is funding. So Ellie and I got together to figure out what we could do to bring value to uh, the community while helping students, and and so that's why we put Create to Learn together so that we can create things to learn. Can you share with our listeners your background in education? Well, I was a general contractor for over 25 years. I built large houses from the ground up. And about 30 years ago, I had a video presentation done on me to encourage children to seek non-traditional professions and realizing that, um, that, that, that there was a need out there. I used the video content to promote myself as a general contractor. And so realizing the uh, opportunity that we could by creating videos slash interviews for businesses to promote themselves That's kind of why, you know, the the education that I have, though, has been pretty much self-taught, which is one reason I feel very strong about this program. I taught myself to lay bricks. I taught myself to pour concrete. And I want to make it available. Not all, not everybody will go out there and continue learning. So we want to make, provide opportunities for people to learn on whatever level they want to learn on, whether it's, you know, whatever, you know, just so that they learn. Yeah. So what are some of the programs that you offer the community? Well, a big one that we do with the high school students, we haven't brought the high school students in yet to do much of the video stuff that that you're helping me with, but uh, we do a lot of community service. Uh, The major colleges uh, say that the, the, uh, the community service is very instrumental in getting into college, so we feel like it's very important that the kids students have the opportunity to uh, to have the community service. So I'm always looking for opportunities uh, to tie in. And coming from the business uh, world, I started building houses around 20 years old. So coming from that arena and seeing how successful my kids were uh, and learning how to work at a young age, we want to find various programs that students can use to um, – to learn, to, you know, to create things to learn. So the college students are, are the ones so far to date 
that have been doing the radio and the um, the um, also the videos that that we're doing. Um, so we just just whatever we can bring into tie into the community is. The little kids like to paint. I make little pieces of furniture for the kids to paint. One time I made a little table that the varsity football players from Irvine High painted. And, it, it, you know, there's just the, the creativity is just so important for our youth. So relating to that subject, what are some of the biggest needs you find that the community needs? Well, I think the biggest things that we need is to create the scholarships for students. There's such a need out there. We would like to have more parents help us, uh, you know, jump on board to help us put together a program where there's, the, you know, we can work together to do some of the scholarships for, for students. So um, um, a big need that we have is to be able to find businesses that will allow us to put together the content. So whether you're a real estate agent and you need to, to um, uh, showcase what you, what you have, it's a great tie into the community because you're supporting a good cause, but then you're also, um, you know, getting stuff that you can use as well. So how do you choose some of the many programs Great to Learn has to offer? Well, I used to, we had an art gallery at Laguna Hills Mall, and when somebody would walk in, what do you do here, our famous words are, what do you want us to do? So we try to find whatever it is you need, and then we try to make up the hookup happen for, for whatever, whatever it is you need. We like to reach out to the community to see. We can't always, uh, you know, accommodate, but there's so many needs out there that, you know, I just feel like if we can find out what each individual needs and how we can tie in with the support of their families to, to make it, you know, to make their lives a learning experience. So what kind of staff do you have? <laughs> you. <laughs> no, most, most of it, we're all volunteers with Create to Learn. Um, so we basically work off of the volunteer program um, that we have in place where we reach out to people that, that uh, you know, have something to offer, and then we find out who needs it, and then we try to, to tie in, um, you know, through volunteers. So how do the volunteers help you out with the program? Well, we've had all sorts of fun things other than, you know, what you're doing, which is my, which is our, our video content for businesses. We also, sometimes I have the students come to the house. I make candy treats and the kids tie bows around it. And, and, uh, you know, there's just, um, there's just so many different opportunities for students to, um, you know, to to volunteer for passing out flyers. We've had them pass out flyers in some of our programs mm-hmm. stand in front of the store. They've painted gifts that, that we've that we've sold uh, through our gallery. One of the little girls, one of the young students on our website, on our Create to Learn website, is it was a student and she had lost her father at a young age and um mm-hmm. Uh, she's just a fabulous artist, so I would love to invite people to to look at that. It, it's really it's really cool what um, how we've all kind of come together with the whole program. Are there any needs that you would like the community to know about? Well, we would just, our biggest need is that we'd like to know if businesses could use some educational content to promote their business. So, say if you have a business, I don't care if you're a a, a um, restaurant or whatever, and they would allow us to put together the content that they can use to promote their businesses. That's what we 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 want this program a little bit different. We don't want to ask people to just give us cash donations. We have happened, but that's not what we go out and ask for. We ask, what do you need that we can provide? And we don't expect you to um, to give us something for nothing. But then we also want to make what we're giving you uh, valuable to you, so that it ha- that it is worth something as well. If that makes sense. Yes. <laughs> Um, is there any other information you would like the community to know? Well, we just want the whole entire community to know that we're here for you, um, you know, and we are just, we're like an open book. We're very creative. Uh, I am the creative one. Ellie is my ground, is my grounded, is my grounded one after 62 years in, in education. She's uh, <laughs> she just about falls to the ground and laughs at some of the content I give her to read. <laughs> <laughs> spell checker, I guess. So, yeah, that's pretty much. We, we just want to know that we're here for the community. Lastly, I'd like you to give your contact information so people could reach you. Well, our uh, email address is create to learn 
at yahoo.com and it's c-r-e-a-t-e-t-o-l-e-a-r-n at yahoo.com or they can visit our website at createtolearn.org and then you can always reach me my cell is always the best which is 949-307-2079 okay thank you so much for this interview thank you